Learn everything you need to know about the stock market with our beginner's guide, learn the importance of making an investment so you may achieve financial freedom. My name is Rahul. After completing his education, Rahul was hired by a multinational corporation. After a month of hard work, Rahul received his first paycheck. He is thrilled. Rahul intends to spend 50% of his income on rent and utilities and 30% on food and entertainment such as going to the movies. Rahul is interested in making use of the remaining 20% perhaps by depositing the money in savings but he is confused how to get started. Rahul's plan is to keep his money in his savings account. He believes he will receive interest on his bank account. When Rahul saw a banner reading don't save and lose money, he was shocked. Rahul wonders how that is possible. Inflation defines everything. Inflation involves increased prices for goods and services. In the 1990s, you could purchase a pair of idlis for 2 rupees and a house for 10 lakhs. but that is no longer the case india's yearly inflation target is 6% despite the bank paying rahul 5% interest of his account prices jumped by 6% how should rahul proceed to make real money rahul must outperform inflation rahul can go and watch goodwill's video on what is the difference between savings and investment or he can invest straight away where to invest is the next question for rahul a gold coins which has provided a return of 9% in the 10 years and it is a safe way he can buy property rahul can buy and sell commercial or residential properties he can earn money in two ways One way is when the value of the property increases that is called capital appreciation and the other way is by renting out but rahul knows for an average investor like him it is very difficult to allocate huge funds these are the physical assets rahul can invest and apart from this there are many financial assets where rahul can invest like say bonds Rahul can give loans to government or corporate and can receive a fixed amount of interest per year in return for Rahul's principal money. This is how bond works. There are 5 years 10 years government bonds and bonds issued by the government owned enterprises like ONGC, PFC and bonds issued by corporates also. In general bonds are considered safest though this comes with a cost they have the lowest investment returns may be around 5% per annum finally we have stocks which can be a perfect solution for rahul but still this comes with a cost too stocks are simple they represent a piece of ownership in a company like tata or reliance people buy and sell little pieces of these companies called shares in places called stock exchanges when rahul buys a share of let's say tata he becomes a partial owner of the company and tata does well the share price goes up and rahul makes money when tata does poorly the share price goes down and rahul loses money these fluctuations can make buying shares risky National Stock Exchange and Bombay Stock Exchange are the two principal exchanges in India. Nifty is an index of NSE which is essentially a weighted average of the top 50 companies is a useful tool for determining the returns on share market. In the last 10 years Nifty has provided an approximate return of 14%. Over very long periods of time Some of India's best managed corporations have generated returns of 20% annually. But finding these companies for buying shares requires patience and ability. Rahul came to the conclusion 
that the stock market is the most effective place to invest to fight inflation. He still has bad dreams about the stock market. In his dream, he could hear the whispers asking, What do you know about the stock market? How would you know whether company shares are excellent or bad? You're not skilled at math or finance. You don't read newspapers. How will you track the stock market? Don't be smart and lose all your money. Deposit it in a bank. Rahul is now 25 years old and can invest 10,000 rupees each month as well as lump sums whenever he receives a bonus or incentives. Rahul consulted an investment advisor to settle all his worries regarding the stock market and discovered two things that are useful to investors like him. First, Rahul can invest in the stock market through mutual funds. He can compare the performance of various funds before investing, but his returns will be lower because he must pay the mutual fund company for their services. Second, Rahul can directly participate in the stock market by investing in the top 50 Indian companies at the same time. All of the leading companies are from several industries including energy, consumer products, information technology, banking, pharmaceuticals, and cement. Thus, he has no issue with the diversification. Rahul's only concern is figuring out how to invest in all 50 of the top companies at the same time for a little amount of 10,000 rupees. Rahul is aware that he can do so by purchasing Nifty 50 ETFs. ETFs are exchange traded funds and you can buy Nifty 50 ETFs on the stock market just like you would buy shares. When you buy one Nifty 50 ETF, like Nifty Bees, it's the same as buying all of the top 50 company stocks in the Nifty index. Like a shadow, Nifty 50 ETF follows Nifty 50 index. Whether the index goes up or down, so does the ETF. The Nifty Index and the Nifty ETF are the same thing. Rahul may purchase ETFs and hold them in his DMAT account like he would buy any other company share. The Nifty 50 Index has generated 14% return over the last 10 years thus the Nifty ETF would have given the same returns. Rahul is eager and wants to find out how much money he will get 20 years from now. If the stock market gives a return of 14% per year, the return that comes back every year will be invested in the same way as before. Rahul knows that his stock broker Goodwill runs a website called Mutual Funds Karo. He can get the answer with just a few clicks. Rahul visited the website. He wants to find a calculator for systematic investment plan, SIP and compounding. Easily Rahul found the SIP calculator in Mutual Funds Karo website. Rahul only needs to answer the three questions on the SIP calculator. How much you can invest through monthly SIP. It is 10,000 rupees for Rahul. How many months will you continue the SIP? It's Rahul's 20-year plan, which is 240 months. What rate of return do you expect? Per annum, 14%, which is the same as the last 10 years in Nifty ETF approximately. Rahul could get 1 crore 31 lakhs 63,463 rupees after 20 years. Rahul can also invest 
a lump sum of money when he gets bonus or other rewards. Let's say Rahul got a bonus of 1 lakh rupees for Diwali and wants to put it on the stock market. Rahul wants to know how much money he will have 20 years from now. Again, Rahul only has to click a few times on the Mutual Funds Karo website to get to the compounding calculator. There, he has to fill in 1 lakh as the principal amount, interest expected to be 14% per annum for 20 years. So Rahul could get 13,74,349 at the end of 20 years. Rahul knows that the power of compounding is a very useful tool that can help you build your wealth over time. To simply put, compounding helps your money grow by paying you interest on the interest you earned in the past. Rahul finally understood the value of investing in the stock market. He will next proceed to the stock market to invest his money and learn more about the market intermediaries.